Hello, the following video is the presentation of the final year project of Group ID 2016 CSE P64 of the CSE department entitled Virtual Mouse under the supervision of Assistant Professor Anupama Padha. It will be conducted by the group members Shreshtha Dubey, Shubham Srivastav, and Shreya Purwar, respectively. This is Shreshtha Dubey, and I intend on giving you a brief introduction on our project. Well, it is a truth universally acknowledged that the world contemporarily happens to be undergoing a phase which is more or less a technological revolution. It is essentially a feat to imagine a life or existence without technology, specifically computers. HCI studies the design and use of computer technology focused on the interface between people, that is the users, and computers. Researchers in the field of HCI observe the ways in which humans interact with computers and design technologies that let humans interact with computers in novel ways. Therefore, we propose a vision-based cursor controlling framework by means of recognition of shades present on the fingertips of the user. They do so by wearing colored tapes, of course, pointing at the webcam of the PC. A pointing device is an input interface that permits a user to input spatial data to a computer. Movements of the pointing device are echoed on the screen by movements of the pointer or cursor in simple words and other visual changes. Common pointing devices are the trackball, touchpad, pointing stick, touchscreen, joystick, and a light pin. Regardless, the similarity between these devices is that a physical contact is a requisite for their functioning. This physical contact limits the flexibility of the cursor on the screen, which can be the cause of hindrance for certain tasks such as 3D modeling, etc. This framework that we propound facilitates cursor control without the compulsion of having a physical contact. The problem statement was to replace the predominant methods of cursor control by making this process more flexible and cost effective. Although the propounded framework has no provision of being of any use to those who are bereft of the use of their hands, but the future scope of this framework shall comprise such an amenity. The objective was to design a vision-based cursor controlling framework by means of recognition of certain shades that are mapped to the common functions performed by pointing devices. For an instance, one red tape for closing a window or a green tape for scrolling it, etc. Well, this is done by replacing the hardware with a webcam of the PC, which acts as the primary sensor. The video footage recorded by it is then separated into frames. The analysis of these frames begin with mapping of the camera coordinates to the screen coordinates so that the movement of the color tip gets reflected on the screen simultaneously. These frames are flipped and later processed for detection of colors, etc. The different colors then dictate the PC to perform certain mouse actions. Literature survey. 
At Cell Technology, human-computer interaction is an area of research and practice that emerged in the early 1980s. Gesture recognition. Gesture recognition is the mathematical interpretation of human motion by a computing device. Using, using palm and using glove can be seen. Architecture. It has four layers. Interface layer, process layer, data manipulation layer, and data layer. Interface layer displays display result and input area. Process layer in this gesture is captured, then gesture is recognized, and the correction check is done. In data manipulation layer, we convert the gesture to a meaningful command. In data layer, it consists of gesture input and results. Design. Input it has input image, image resize, segmentation, denoise, compute center, get radius, get fingertips, and control mouse. This can be explained as further. In image resize, map camera coordinates to screen coordinates. It separates the hand area from a complex background. In segmentation, we convert RGB color space to gray component color space and then to binary image. In denoising, we need to delete noisy pixels from the image. We use an image morphology algorithm that performs image erosion and image dilation to eliminate noise. Erosion trims down the image area where the hand is not present. Dilation expands the area of the image pixels which are not eroded. It clarifies the image, we can say. Then we find the center of the image and size of the shape. We locate the center of the shape and then we compute to the centroid. Then we compute the centroid of the region to get the shape size. We draw a circle increasing the radius of the circle from the center from the center coordinate until the circle meets the first black pixel. When the algorithm finds the first black pixel, then it returns to the current radius value. Through this, we find the center and we can also determine the shape of the image. Thank you, Shreya, for explaining. So the next slide is about controlling mouse. Weighted speed cursor control, we get a difference of the finger of the current image and the previous image and the and compute the distance between the two. Next, we move the cursor. If the gap between the two finger images is far, then the mouse cursor moves fast. Or if the gap is close, then the cursor moves slow. It includes features like left clicking, right clicking, double clicking, and scrolling. So moving to my next slide, which is hardware and software requirement. It is mandatory to have a webcam either inbuilt or external because it is used as a sensor to capture video, which is the first step of our project. Next one is MATLAB, which is a software requirement and it is a high performance language for technical computing. It integrates computation, visualization, and programming in an easy to use environment. So next slide is about advantages. <clears throat> the main advantage of using hand gesture is to interact with computer as a non-contact human computer input modality. It also reduces the hardware cost by eliminating the use of mouse. Convenient for the users who are not comfortable with touchpad. The framework may be useful for controlling different types of games and other applications which are dependent on the control through user defined gestures. So my next slide is limitations. The present application though seems to be feasible and more user friendly. An attempt to make the input modes less constrained dependent for the user's hand gestures has been preferred. Another important aspect for the related development could be a design of an independent gesture vocabulary framework. The color detection uh, algorithm can cause detection problem if another color rubber in working domain of webcam. 
So next slide is about future scope. In the future scope, we plan to add more features such as enlarging, shrinking, closing windows, etc. by using the palm and multiple fingers. We can also we can we can also open the browser or any drives with the help of hand gestures instead of moving the cursor. Here comes the conclusion. We are developing a system to control the mouse cursor using a real time camera. This system is based on computer vision algorithms and can do all mouse tasks. However, it is difficult to get stable results because of the variety of lighting and skin colors of human races. This system could be useful in presentations and to reduce workspace. Features such as enlarging, shrinking windows by using the palm and multiple fingers are its future scope. Here are some references. Thank you. Sharing the details of research paper. Our research paper is published by an international conference, IJRAR, that is International Journal of Research and Analytical Reviews. Our paper is published in UGC indexing. It was published successfully on 23rd April 2020. This is the confirmation letter of a research paper being published. This is the certificate of a research paper being successfully published. And these are the references that we have referred to during the making of the research paper. Thank you.